Welcome mentors. Thank you for taking the time to volunteer for Junior Achievement's 11th Annual Titan Challenge. My name is Jenna Jeffrey. I am the Events and Program Coordinator at Junior Achievement, and I'm joined by board member Kevin Heatley from Gorham Savings Bank. Hey there. In these few short videos, we're going to provide an overview of the agenda for the day, describe the breakout session activity hosted by Tyler Technologies, and explain how the Titan simulation game actually works. So the students are selling a hollow generator, which is a futuristic handheld video conferencing device. The companies, each team, compete in technologically advanced industries that produce these hollow generators. Each team or company is made up of three high school students and a mentor. Kevin will introduce some key terms that will be helpful to know before you start the competition. Thanks, Jenna. The, the biggest term to know is the performance index, or PI, and that's how the teams are ranked during the games. So what is the PI? It is actually a weighted measure that's based on these six metrics. There's retained earnings, which is half of the PI, so the biggest thing to worry about, and then these other five, supply potential, demand potential, productivity, market share, and growth are all equal to each other. The retained earnings is, like I said, the biggest thing to worry about, and that's really just it boils down to the net profit to date for your company. So the better you do, the more you have for that metric. The supply potential is the share of total production capacity. So in this case, you're thinking about the physical production facilities and their value and whether or not they're being managed profitably. So that's to keep in mind when you're thinking about supply potential. For demand potential, you're looking at the share of total marketing and R&D expenditures. When you get to the video on how to play the game, you'll see that the, each team every quarter will have to make decisions on how much money they want to spend on marketing and also on R&D. And then this demand potential is how they're using that investment. The productivity is your efficiency for a company's operation. So to keep the highest productivity, you want to be in that range of 75 to 85% of capacity utilization. If you're going higher or lower, productivity suffers and will go down. The market share is the company's unit market share based on that current period or quarter that they're doing in their industry. And growth is the last one, and that's comparing the, your company's sales growth rate to the industry's sales growth rate from the previous period. So if you're doing better than the rest of the industry, then you're gonna, your growth will go higher. If you're doing a little bit worse, then your growth will decrease. On to the t scoring for the Titan event. There are multiple rounds of play in one practice round, but that doesn't count towards the whole overall score of the day. At the end of each round, there, a team with the highest PI will get seven points, and the next highest PI will get six points, and so on. And in each round, they have varying numbers of quarters, so they just don't know when it's going to end, but at the end of the round, they'll get those, those base, their points based on their rankings. And the winner is the team with the most points at the end of the competition. If there are any ties, those are broken by comparing the tied team's retained earnings to their industry's total retained earnings in the second to last round of play. Each member of the top three teams statewide will receive an Amazon gift card. We will also announce a regional winner at each of the six locations. This will be the team that scored the highest at each location, and each member will again receive an Amazon gift card. Thank you again for taking the time to volunteer for this year's Titan Challenge. Thank you. We will also have a few other videos that you can watch overviewing the Titan screens and how the simulation of the game actually works, as well as the agenda and schedule for the day.